Let me back up. There was this uh, uh, little guitar in the attic where I grew up. I found out it was a tipple, and the tipple is tuned the same as ukulele. So I was learning on this, I learned all these sort of these pop songs, and I was singing at picnics and stuff. But also I had been writing poetry. So then later on, years later, around the time I was graduating from Yale Art School, I thought, why not try to write a song? So I started writing, I wrote a, I think a one chord or two chord song, it was awful, but, and then I just started writing songs, and then the, the first year I wrote, I wrote almost 30 songs, I wrote a lot of songs. Songs are a way to express uh, feelings about things that, that you can put it in a nutshell. You can have this complicated thing, a sad experience, and you can put it in a song, and it's not like you're crying. In, if it's like you're crying in public, there's something embarrassing about it, because it's like wrong. But if you do it right, it's something beautiful, and it transcends the event, even though like it expresses the event. And and music music can do that. One I always mention is Ogie Carmichael, uh, and another one would be. Uh, Kurt Weill, like Three Penny Opera, Kurt Weill. Kurt Weill is sort of like classical pop in a way. It's like classical music, but he uses, uh, just like uh, Eric Satie, I was really into Eric Satie. Eric Satie uh, started writing songs that were based on uh, cafe music and pop music, and that was unusual, and uh, Kurt Weill did the same thing. It gives him kind of an edge to the, his classical music by having it in this, have a kind of caustic, barroom sound to classical music, which gives it a kind of edge. And then my friends were listening to the Beatles, and so I started listening to pop music again. So I guess all that had some kind of, had an influence. Uh, people always think I'm influenced by uh, people who at that point were rather obscure. People call them psych folk artists. But I never heard any of that when I, you know, when I started writing, I hadn't heard. And nobody had ever called it psych folk anyway. The new record is produced by Jerry DeSica. This album was a collection of material that I'd been done over, some of which was more recent, some of which was old, that we had been practicing. It's probably the songs which, uh, some of the songs that we, are, we knew best, that we liked best, 